So with the Batman 2022 having a range of villains appear in the film, from the Riddler to the Penguin, it's intriguing to think about what other villains could be included based on what we've seen so far. With Matt Reeves building out an entire new trilogy, it seems he's going fully into the detective approach in this first film, and with the Court of Owls also rumoured to appear, I thought it would be interesting to look at how they could be included. Before I get into it though, if you want to see more videos on the Batman 2022, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications. Also, if you enjoy this video, remember to leave a like rating. But without further ado, let's discuss the possibility of the Court of Owls appearing as secret villains in this new Batman trilogy. So, Matt Reeves' The Batman Trilogy has the ability to pit Robert Pattinson's caped crusader against one of his most complex and threatening villains with the Court of Owls. In the comics, they are known as a secret society, which is made up of the richest of the rich, pulling the strings behind much of the organised crime that happens around Gotham City, and they work almost entirely from the shadows, making them almost untouchable. The Court of Owls has existed for centuries in the comic book world, and Batman himself has had numerous encounters with their highly trained assassins, called the Talons. They have already appeared in the TV show Gotham, and will be in the upcoming video game Gotham Knights by WB Games Montreal, so regardless of them being underused throughout DC Comics history, they're one that would be welcome in a new Batman trilogy that plans to introduce a catalogue of Batman's rogue enemies. There is also the possibility that the Court of Owls will be present in the upcoming movies version of Gotham, whether it be the film or the HBO TV show. But in the first trailer for Matt Reeves' Batman film, we clearly see that the Riddler's first riddle is written on a card that has the image of an owl on the front, making it possible that Riddler is attempting to unveil the court before the public. Because of this, there are already theories floating around about the Court of Owls being revealed in the Batman. By establishing these villains while Batman is still growing as a hero presents an exciting possibility for the future of the trilogy and the world Reeves is building within that. By utilising them in a more strategic way too, the Court of Owls have the chance of being an incredibly threatening force towards Bruce Wayne. As indicated by the official trailer, the Riddler seems to be trying to reveal corruption to the people of Gotham, and no one is more corrupt than the court. If the secret society is indeed who Edward Nigma is trying to expose, it sets them up perfectly to cause issues for the Batman over the next few films. Establishing them as a complex mystery that Bruce Wayne has to peel back the layers of would allow for a storyline much more in-depth than anything that has been seen from a live-action Batman film yet. Additionally, they could also gain an advantage over Bruce for a while, as Pattinson's Batman is still only in year two of being the character in the film, and this could lead into exploring Batman rise above his failures down the line. For me, what makes them the most intriguing to tackle in this upcoming trilogy, however, is how perfect they would link into a more detective-themed Batman film. Matt Reeves has stated multiple times that he is exploring the detective elements of the character more prominently, and The Court of Owls is a complex enemy that for one, hasn't been seen on the big screen, and two, their appearance could give audiences an adversary that is unique and extremely unnerving. The Court would serve as a perfect framework for the trilogy, and the slow burn of their reveal would be extremely satisfying for both the viewers and the Batman, perhaps even exploring Bruce Wayne's skills as the world's greatest detective even more so. By also making the history of Gotham play a role in the film, the past of the Court will have to be introduced, allowing audiences and characters to see just how deep the corruption runs. The Court of Owls would work extremely well alongside a younger Batman, as the film will be able to look deep into the secret society that has been embedded in Gotham for a long time, making it an uphill battle for the upcoming vigilante. Alongside this, there are so many different aspects to them that could be deepened in this new version of Gotham City. 
From the possibility of Dick Grayson's destined role as a Talon, to Batman's possible brother, Lincoln March, being a member of the court. They have a very deep history in Gotham, and that makes them the perfect contender to be a huge threat to Robert Pattinson's Bruce Wayne when more of the Batman's world is finally explored. There's a possibility that Matt Reeves doesn't take this route, but after seeing the teases in the trailer and the behind the scenes footage, there is definitely something bigger at play operating behind the scenes, and I wouldn't be surprised if it was the Court of Owls. But that was my perspective on the potential for the Court of Owls to appear as villains in Matt Reeves' The Batman trilogy. Whatever villains do end up appearing, I'm really interested to see how they will be integrated into the detective approach that the director is taking. I'm intrigued to hear what all of you guys think though towards the Court of Owls possibly appearing and making a bigger impact as we go through the new trilogy, so let me know down below in the comment section. For more videos surrounding the Batman leading up to its 2022 release date, then subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications. Also, if you enjoy this video, remember to give it a like rating. I will be covering news and topics for the Batman 2022 whenever new information comes out, so look out for all of my videos in the coming months. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I've been Cortex, and as always, make some noise.